yeah, it's been a long time, obviously, for a lot of the boys. Um, and, yeah, this year's been, you know, probably a little bit indifferent. So to actually sort of be home and feel um, like you're, where, like you're where, like, I guess, where you belong, um, yeah, it's, a, it's a feeling I can't actually sort of describe. No, I don't think anyone would have imagined it, it would go on for this long. At the time, we, we, we sort of didn't think of how long it would go, but we certainly wouldn't have picked two and a half years or three years to, to be the length of time before we get, got to play on Mount Smart again. 60 games later, and what is it, 1,040 days uh, before we get to play here again, um, is in anyone's you know, thoughts that wouldn't have happened. To finally get here, we've had a few false starts, but uh, to finally get here and have the boys here and, and just be here at home, um, it's certainly you know, an emotional feeling, but one that'll build to excitement over the week as we get closer to the game. When I left in 2018, this this part of me was over at that point, you know what I mean? I never thought I'd be able to walk through Mount Smart again and um, see the faces I bounced in seeing for the eight years I was here, you know? And um, it was, yeah, it was just pretty emotional, eh? Like, even driving the path from my house to Mount Smart, I called my dad saying, like, Dad, like, I'm doing it again, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's stuff that people just don't understand, you know? And when you care about a place as much as, you know, a lot of us do, um, to see those familiar faces still working in the office um, and see the emotion on their face giving me big warm hugs, it's like, I haven't felt that in a long time. I guess sort of coming back, we weren't sure how you're going to be received, you know, especially after the last couple of months, but the feel around town, uh, people in the shopping centres and um, wherever I've been have been just, you know, so excited to have us back. So. Certainly felt the love already, um, and I know the boys are going to get to experience that this week heading into the game. Real important to reset, rebirth, and we've got to rebuild the game. Uh, the club's sweet, the club's ready to go. Uh, we'll get a coach soon and for next year, and we're all sorted. And um, it's just exciting for the game that the Kiwis played on the weekend and Tonga, and now we're here, so the fans get to come out and enjoy rugby league. Yeah, we, we, we know that we haven't performed as well as we would have liked and um, through different reasons our, our effort's one of them and, and we've got to show that, we, that we'll that we put everything we can out on the field and, and make the fans proud. What's happened the past sort of couple of months hasn't you know been what none of us wanted so to be able to come home I guess at this time um, and like you said be able to reset, um, have something to really look forward to. Um, the boys are so pumped for this weekend um, getting to I guess play in front of our people, our supporters, our fan base. Um, it's going to be really nice. So, um, yeah, look, excitement is yeah, probably a little bit of an understatement, but yeah, we can't wait. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.